What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. We're on the beach today. Water is pretty freaking muddy and the wind's coming out of the east, southeast, pretty strong. But uh, we're gonna do some Pompano set rigs, widening set rigs, and then I might throw this freaking Halco popper. I got a little redhead rooster popper here. And uh, maybe try to get something on top. I don't know, but it's just gonna be a pretty fun fishing experience. We just got a spot out on the beach and uh, just trying to have some fun. So, and if we catch something, that's an added bonus. But I appreciate you watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead, hit it down below real quick. And then let's get into the video. Oh, it don't take long for you to show up, does it? <laughs> we got a cool sand castle there. And a nice, big old great blue heron. There you go, bud. I ain't caught any fish yet, so you're being pretty optimistic and I appreciate it. All right, I'm out here on the beach. I just got a single dropper rig set up like you've seen before in many of my videos. But uh, I got some new fish gum here. This is a pop candy. You know, I'm going to try this one out today. It's like a yellowish uh, red slash orange and white. Pretty cool looking color. I'm going to try this out and see what we can do. I've heard pretty good things about it. All right, all I got going here is just a piece of the pop candy fish gum and a piece of dead shrimp. And uh, we're going to cast this sucker out. I am using, if you've watched my other videos, Saltwater Saragosa by Shimano in the 6,000 size. 20 pound Power Pro braid and a custom rain shadow rod. All right, we got that one set. I'm gonna tie on another pompano rig on the other rod and uh, get that one out there as well. I already got a bite going on this one and I haven't even got the other rod set out yet. Let's see what it is. Come on. Oh, that's a decent fish. Ah, oh, came off. Okay, that was a decent fish, whatever it was. Might have been a stingray. Ah. I'm gonna get another piece of fish gum here. It's pump candy. All right, let's try that again. Literally just put it out and uh, already had something freaking knock it. So, let's see if we can try that again here i just tied up another pompano rig here one of my hand tied ones and uh, it's just a two drop rig with a hook a bead and a float and a three ounce pyramid weight but uh i don't really like fishing two rods at the most most time i'm by myself and i only fish one rod and i can limit out pretty quick but uh this one i'm gonna try something i'm just gonna try pump candy fish gum on it i'm gonna cut two pieces i'm gonna pinch it in half and hook it on there and same thing with the other hook. This, the fish gum by itself. All right, I wanna toss this one out. This one's on my Ninja Tackle Dagger with a Shimano Saltwater Saragosa 5000. 20 pound, super sleek, power pro grade. And it's just a nine foot rod. Both these rods I'm using are just nine feet. So I'm gonna cast this one out and see if something will just hit the pump candy fish gum. There we go. Let me get in my stuff now. Come on, back yourself up. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> He's trying to get my stuff. <laughs> trying to get my bait. Looks like, oh dang. Okay, got something on. <laughs> I was just looking at the other one with just fish gum. Now this one has something on. Come on. Oh God, look that one's got something on too. Holy crap, what do I have? Good Lord. <laughs> Oh, that one has something on too. Good gracious, what just came through? A school of freaking jacks or something? <laughs> Look at that one. That one's going down too. That one's going too. What is that? <laughs> Dang, that one's going down too. Okay. Did a school, I think a school of reds or jacks might have came through just now. Holy crap, bro. Everybody's hooked up. Everybody's hooked up. I can't do anything with that one. Holy crap, this one's about to smoke me. Ow. This is literally about to... I'm about to get spooled by a freaking fish out here. That one's got something on it. I gotta fight this one. Okay, that one I think popped off. <sighs> Woo! I don't, it might be a school of jacks or a school of rays that came through. 
big cow nose. You know what? That's probably what this is. He's definitely down the beach some. It's just a lightweight pump in a rig. It might pop off. So he said he just had a cow nose. So that's probably what these are. I don't know. It's freaking heavy though. Yeah, it definitely. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, that's, that's what it is, cow nose. Cow nose ray. It's the type of stingray. They swim in big schools. They picked up both my lines, so now I got a gentleman over there fighting that one too. <laughs> See if we can at least get them close and maybe pop them off. There we go. Yep, it's a cow nose, Ray. Look at him. <laughs> you might have to. Mine's right here. Oh, are you? Yeah. Yeah, you're under. There you go. It's all right if it pops off. <laughs> there he is right there. Let's see if we can at least get a, try to get it on video. Woo. Yeah. Man, those things are strong. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to pop it off, or at least get it up. There we go, it's gone, sweet. Let him go live, I didn't want to deal with him. <laughs> He's gone now, pretty cool. Still fighting that one, huh? No, you're good, you can fight him. <laughs> What's your name? Paul. Paul, okay. Well, I got Paul over here, gentleman that was fishing down the beach. Uh, what is that? Your family over there yeah. with you? Paul over there with this, <laughs> over there with this family. He came over and helped me out. So sweet. I've seen you on YouTube. Have you? You watch Bama Saltwater? Yeah. Awesome, man. Appreciate you watching. These, I don't care if they pop off, and they're just fun to fight to the shore. I think it's pretty far out. Yeah, it's, it, that one I, I couldn't get to, so he just took, 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 took. <laughs> Appreciate your help for sure. Yeah, there he is. There we go. Appreciate you, brother. That was pretty chaotic. I was watching this one, and this one was doing, you know, a little tap, 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 tap. And then suddenly my other rod went straight down started pulling dragging so i went to go get that one and then this one here went phew, it went straight out too and i couldn't do anything with this one so i was fighting that i figured it was some sort of rays or jacks came through in a school these cow no rays swim in big pods if that's the right term i believe it is and uh, they they swim in pods up and down the beach if you go on the state pier you see them a lot a lot of times you catch kobe on them too when they're in big pods like that but anyway they took both my baits and uh, luckily a viewer over there was fishing with his family his name was paul i believe and then he came over and helped so that's pretty fun but uh not really after stingray or cow nose rays or any type of rays I'm after pompano water's pretty freaking dirty but uh we're gonna keep on trying to see what we can do another fish and i think it's another ray we will find out though holy crap there we go i didn't want them i didn't want them <laughs> all right i'm gonna cast it back out again i'm pretty sure that was another cow nose ray i don't even think he might have gotten the bait in his mouth i think he just ran into my line i did not want him so I just picked it up, tried to pop it off, and uh, let him go on his way. <laughs> I'm not trying to find another one of them things again. All right, I just got something else on. Freaking big, whatever it is. Again, I hope it's not another stingray. Uh, it feels like it's a stingray. Good Lord, dude. <laughs> Pulling hard. It's another stingray. It's another one. Ah, get off! Get off! Look at it going crazy out there. I'm about to pop it off. I'm about to pop it off. Ah. Come here. 
I got another one. I'm about to pop this one off. There we go. About to pop it off, pop it off, pop it off. Ah, I got another one. <laughs> stop. Can't stop. It's like another cow nose, right? Ah. Look at that. Hard. Holy crap. Tired of catching these things, to be honest. There we go. Popped off. Sweet. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to pop off. <laughs> All right, got it back. Woo! All right. On the pump candy, freaking fish gum, literally by itself. And this is a salty pump in a rig, so just a locally hand tied rig. So, what these rays are doing, they're just kind of running into my line and just taking it out. And now, when I didn't even bother lifting up the rod or setting the hook, I was just going to let it take it. And then it either dropped the hook or got untangled from my line. So, that was pretty easy. I didn't lose my rig. I'm going to cast the, literally the same bait back out there for the third time and see if we can get something other than a freaking cow nose stingray. <laughs> All right, well, I don't even know what round I'm on now. There's a bite. There we go. Did it come off? No, it's still on. That might be a pompano. That just might be a pompano. Come on. Come on in. And this is on the pomp candy fish gum. That's either a pompano or a whiting, I hope. But I really hope a pompano. Let's see here. Oh, oh, it is a pompano. It is a pompano. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. I got one! Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. On the pop candy, baby. On the pop candy. <laughs> Heck yeah, my dude. Just got a pompano on the pop candy fish gum. I mean, that is awesome. I literally had it on a single drop rig with a little bit of fish gum by itself in the pump candy color and freaking got one in this muddy water heck yeah one of my three and he is a legal fish they do have to be 12 inches total length in the state of alabama and you're allowed three pompano per person per day let's get them on ice and see if we can get us another one Woo! oh what's going on here oh i got a fish on this one too oh hey there we go what distracted with the other pompano i didn't even realize i had a fish on this one <laughs> what is it Oh, it's another pompano. Move, move, Heron. There we go. Woohoo! Just on fish gum. Just on fish gum. Another pompano. Heck yeah, dude. Pomp candy fish gum. That's a solid freaking pompano, too. That is a solid pompano. Heck yeah, man. Woo! Got two pompano back to back, and that was on the pomp candy fish gum. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. This one is a pretty solid fish, probably one and three quarter pound. And this one's probably a little one point something pound or maybe one and a half. But man, that is awesome when you come out here in dirty water and bring catch solid pump. That's the magic. All right, that was a pretty fun and successful fishing session just now. I almost gave up after catching freaking, I think it was like four cow nose rays or or maybe even five, I don't know. I, I, I quit counting after the first two. I almost gave up, but most of the time you just need to put in the work and put in a little bit of time and normally it'll pay off. Especially when the water's dirty and windy like this. You never know what will happen. But if you have the right bait and the right presentation, and if the fish are there, they will eat. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, that thumbs up below this video. But I appreciate you watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you have, I appreciate you. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later. Yeah.